Yeah, this uh, instrument that uh, we've uh, built uh, looks, it's a handheld instrument. Uh, it looks like a duct tape dispenser, if you, if you will. And it serves to, uh, instead of a duct tape dispenser, it, disp it dispenses uh, uh, tissue tape. So a planar layer of uh, tissues, uh, either in a laboratory setting into a dish or uh, directly onto a wound bed. It deposits a, uh, a layer of a biomaterial, so it's a squishy gel uh, that contains uh, uh, biological cells, so skin cells. And it does that in an organization that, uh, in a layered organization that mimics very much the organization in uh, human skin. Well, we collaborate uh, on this project with uh, 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 Dr. Mark Yeshke from uh, Sunnybrook Hospital, who who runs the burn unit there, and so we're focusing uh, on uh, the application of uh, treating burns. You know, we instead of uh, grafting uh, skin, that is the process that is currently used, in the future one may be able to use patient cells and then use this handheld instrument uh, to cover the wound uh, with an engineered skin uh, that contains the uh, cells of the patient uh, itself. Well, what's done today is, uh, is either shaving off uh, skin from an intact uh, wound site and redistributing it uh, to, the, to the actual burnt uh, wound, which in effect uh, doubles the, uh, the total uh, wound area for a patient. Uh, or, uh, I mean, there are uh, tissue engineered skin substitutes available commercially, but uh, they're A, very expensive and they take a long time to become available. So what we're hoping is that uh, this technology will ultimately uh, make uh, these tissue engineered technologies much more accessible, uh, accessible uh, to patients. While you're talking to an engineer, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, for us, it's, a, it's, a, it's become a, a pretty easy to, to use instrument. I'm sure it's not, um, you know, yet uh, at the stage where it can immediately use, be used in, in clinical practice, but it is a, a pretty robust uh, instrument. And we've been uh, developing it and tuning it, building many prototypes over the last uh, five, six years. So by now I'm quite confident it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a robust instrument. Yeah, so we provide the, uh, the, the right cells and of course the the material needs to, uh, and the cells, you know, remodel this material uh, to heal the wound, right? And the hope is that providing the, the right cells in the right place uh, will uh, uh, will accelerate wound healing. Well, I've done a lot of uh, a lot of testing. So we've uh, done. Uh, we started with uh, physical characterization in in, uh, in our engineering laboratories. Uh, then uh, proving that we can consistently deposit sheets and uh, achieve geometries that are similar to uh, physiologically relevant uh, skin layers, uh, proving that we can uh, add cells and work under sterile conditions, and more recently that we can apply this to uh, in vivo actual wounds uh, in, at Sunnybrook Hospital. We've come a long way. Initially, we started from a system uh, several years ago that was already able to, to uh, produce uh, sheets with skin cells in them. Uh, but at the time, we, we had challenges uh, transferring these sheets onto actual wounds. And if all we wanted to do is treat uh, mice, then you know, this would, be, would have been a, still a fair, fair technology. But uh, you know, it became pretty clear to us that uh, if we, since we want to go to uh, clinically relevant uh, uh, conditions, you know, this, this challenge of transferring these substrates was one that needed to be solved, so we re-engineered the, the skin printer and it became a handheld system. There's no manipulation required now on these uh, skin sheets. They're directly deposited onto a wound, and this uh, process works very, very consistently now.